The last Dow Jones listed enterprise to change its IT structure to EVE business. According to CEO Lehman, growth rates are increasing by 25% on average using the AI. This year, Lehman has to appear before Congress to justify the data protection policy of EVE Enterprises. Our correspondent Bill Mahler has discussed pros and cons with experts. Mr. Owens, in what ways will EVE change our society in a sustainable way? The protests clearly show that society isn't ready for such big changes. The people protesting on the... Good morning, Alex. It is 8.30. Good morning, Eve. There are certain requirements that have to be met to generate breakthroughs and progress in research. Wearing a health bracelet is a small price to pay. Hold on, Mr. Schneider. So, you want to convince the public that it is harmless to give up basic privacy rights? The enormous economic value that EVE brings is out of the question? Absolutely, especially after the finance and banking crises of the last years, EVE provides us with a kind of stability we can't just give up. But what are we all sacrificing for this? EVE is just programmed to create economic growth. Therefore she is a henchman for big corporations. The masses have to give up all the information with only one goal. Squeeze out the most profit out of everyone. Just couldn't wait for us, could ya? If I always waited for you, we'd be starving. So, what is practiced? Cut it open. Oh man, a step aside. You're messing it up. Nice shot. Luck. The kids will be glad. Won't last for long, though.
All right, let's see how this works. Hello, I welcome you kindly. My name is E. You may create your profiles now. Daddy, can we play with Eve, please? Please, Daddy, please. <laughs> now be patient, honey. Can we put on the bracelets yet? Um, no. Let me install Eve first, all right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut it out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here, take it. <laughs> I'm fine. Cheers. Why that? Well, I actually got the thing, you know, and I got a... Uh... Even you have to clean and babysit Damn it, now you know me. <laughs> Danger, motherfucker! Lucky for you, I took a thing out in time. Now we're going to have some fun. Are you? Ah! Who are you? Finn. Are there any other hawks around? No, that's the only one I saw. Why would you sneak around here anyway? What I'm doing here is none of your fucking business. Thanks for helping me, but. Ah! <sighs> 
deep wound. We have to stop the bleeding. You damn wolf! We really don't need a troublemaker like you here. If the wound gets infected, it's really just a matter of time till he dies. We have to help him. It's just a matter of time till he puts us in danger again. Let's leave him here to die. Like we left you behind when we found you. Just some bandages and I'm out of your hair. We have to leave. If more of those fuckers show up, we've got a serious problem. I'm wondering what Hawk is even doing here. This area has not been of particular interest for Eve until now. I thought this was the only one. He's coming with us. You walk between them. Go. so long. Who's that? What were you doing in the woods? I was hunting, just like you. And where's your camp? I don't have a camp. You're all alone out here with only this? Are you fucking kidding me? Man, I told you before. You told us a hawk was following him? Yeah, the question is why? They've never been this close to our camp. All right, like I said, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in your tiny damn camp. I couldn't care less. Can you please let me leave? How dare you making demands like that? If you don't tell us why you're here and what you want, we cannot let you go. But I just want you to- You can make assurances all you want. As long as you don't talk, you're not going anywhere. sleep stats last night? Five normal phases of sleep were recorded last night. REM phase achieved after 90 minutes. Data is being saved. Thanks, Eve. Always happy to help. Goodbye, Am. Werner, you should consider eating your breakfast. Your protein level is low. Still hasn't talked, has he? No. I have to take care of Sen soon. How much longer will he survive if you don't? If he doesn't lose too much blood, a little while, but if you wait much longer, there's a risk he gets septic soon. Let's risk it. Make sure that he's tied up nicely, will you? I'm turning in. Thank you. 
Max, don't slam the door. Joanna, please leave her alone. It's no big deal. Now what's the matter, honey? What's the matter? We are getting more and more problems, and what? Are you ever going back to work again? Now, listen to me, young lady. Your father might never, ever work again. And I won't leave him alone in an empty house, as long as you and your sister are not here. Yeah, great that you mention Lisanna. Have you not realized that she didn't go to school yesterday? Neither the day before? She plays hooky and you have no idea. Don't you even know how bad she's feeling? And you don't fucking care at all. Our inheritance is almost gone, and then we'll all come be... On, no, on. let me go! No one's running through the woods alone. What? Whoever wants to be safe from Eve these days must stick to their group or their camp. You've come a long way on your own. You find us. Find a camp. And want to leave immediately? I don't need anyone. I just... Bullshit! You are on a mission. You want to get somewhere? Maybe I'm out of my mind? <laughs> you seem quite sane, though. Do you know what's gonna happen if we don't treat your hand? I guess I would die. So, once more, what are you doing here? Ah! I'm looking for Adam Lehman! You know him? How how do you know him? How do you know him? Ah, I'm ready for them. Will you kill me now? Why do you need him? Only he can make it stop. If that's true. We are hosting a true celebrity here. This is what we waited for. You wanna... You're kidding, right? Wait, what is that? She wants to find Lehman. With Finn. No, that... You cannot do that, man. I mean, that's mental. I don't trust that guy one bit. We cannot trust anyone. But I do believe him. But all of this, all this shit. But this is our chance. But he's responsible for all of this misery. Well, at least he's trying to fix it. I'll go with him. You can't just leave like that. What the hell? He's on his own and injured. He'll never make it. Yeah, well, come in then. You don't think I'm gonna let you leave with some stranger? That guy's full of shit. Then I'll take along as well. I can't leave you alone with Marius. <laughs> all that yapping on the way. <laughs> Someone will have to shut you up from time to time. <laughs> Funny. 
I guess I will have to convince someone else beforehand. Hey guys, has your prisoner said anything yet? What's going on? But look, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You can't just sign up for that before talking to me first. Yeah, I know, but... You, you want to go into the unknown and change the world, but we are safe here. We are safe for now. Look, Eve controls everything, and it's just a matter of time until... Yes, and Sand is responsible for all of that. You cannot just... Do not kid yourself, you cannot trust that guy. I know, but... Do, do you want me to come with you? Yes. I can't believe you didn't ask me first. Of course I would have asked you, but the question came up before, so... Then you don't tell them we are coming along. You talk to me first. Is that too much to us? You can't decide stuff like that. <laughs> Not one word. Don't you want anything to change? Everything's gonna change. <laughs> Can you even imagine how it's gonna be? Not yet.
ready. Just a simple update, and then Eve just started killing all those people. You mean... removing subjects? Eve is very complex, but in the end nothing more than pure software. There are innumerable lines of code that just determine the principles by which it operates. This code, unfortunately, has become very unmanageable over the years, so that nobody noticed the error. But, at some point she disregarded these principles, didn't she? No. Eve changed the code, and thereby rearranged her principles. But, how could she just rearrange her own code? Eve is a self-optimizing software. She never actually broke her own rules. She simply can't do that. She created a loophole that is in harmony with her highest principle. Economic productivity. Hi, I'm home. Hello? Mom? Dad? Lisana? Where are you? Eve, call 
dead. Establishing connection failed. Eve, call mom. Establishing connection failed. Due to disregard of instructions and warnings, non-productive subjects have been subsequently removed. Alice, you should come down. Your blood pressure is increased. What have you done to my family? If we keep this pace up, we should be there in a few days. That's good. Then we don't have to waste any more time looking for food. Drop your weapons! Come on! You too, boy, or I'll shoot your friends right now! Ah! You! With a red backpack! What about the fucking backpack? Here! Hold this above your head! Come on, come on! Yes, pass it on, pass it on, you too! All right, we'll do everything you say, we're just passing by. Before we're old, come on! Hurry, boy, a little faster! Pass it on! Go! Hold it over your head! Okay. You seem clean. You hungry, want to eat something? Then we are talks. Most of the deer must have moved on. Those goddamn owls are to blame. They talk nonsense. I'm not at all sure if it's the owls talking the most nonsense here. All of them are controlled by Eve. She implanted teeny tiny nanobot in their brains. That's absurd. Eve never optimized animals. Yes, yes. The same happened to me. You don't notice it at first. But, um... And there are these memory blanks. And once Eve controls you and you have these nanobots in your head, your magnetic properties change. Why do you think you were to hold this iron splinter plate over your head? But I, I freed myself. Behold. Well, dude, I think you freed a little bit too much out of this brain. You're talking about me? Um, we were just talking a bit about our journey. Yes, yes. The flight of the geese once brought me here. Fine birds. Always been enemies of those owls, one must say. Doro, what is it? The big question is, what are we still doing here? We can't seriously stay with this Russian lunatic. He's kind of weird, I give you that, but he gave us food and he stopped shooting at us. He's not trying to kill us anymore? How great! I won't be able to fucking close my eyes in his presence. Well, we do have to rest for a bit. If we are staying here, we might as well kill ourselves a right. Yes, that guy really is nuts, but we have no alternative. Hmm. We won't get far today anyway. I will protect you. Yeah, we can put up guards tonight. I will start. I will keep my gun on my pillow.
that looks pretty infected. To be honest, the pain is creeping up my arm. What a waste, actually. We really need antibiotics, otherwise you won't make it much longer. Ah, it's gonna be fine. Listen up, the pain in your arm means the infection is spreading throughout your whole body. It won't be long before you get a fever and then you'll be in so much pain it will be unbearable. And then you'll be begging us to shoot you. Don't you have a map? Do you know a place where we could find medicine? Hmm. About 10 or 50 miles from here, there's a city controlled by Eve. Actually, I tried to avoid places like that. We have to risk it. There's danger anyway, and you can always use medicine. There's simply no way around it. We could use some ammunition as well. Another reason? Mm -hmm. Someone has to stay with Finn. You can stay. We will go then. Wouldn't you rather stay here? Don't you think I can do it? I'll take care of myself. She wouldn't be safe here either. Good. Then let's get ready. And hurry up so we get there at twilight. It took her a long time to realize how Eve had changed. I suppose many people couldn't imagine life without Eve anymore. Wasn't easy for us either. I was getting pretty paranoid and Doro didn't take me seriously at all. It was almost like an addiction. How did you get to meet Lehman anyway? I was intrigued by Eve as well. I was still studying at the time and saw a lot of potential in her early versions. I had plenty of good ideas and mailed them all to Adam Lehman. And he was intrigued. No, he didn't answer me for weeks and weeks. And when I had accepted the fact that I wouldn't hear back from him, he invited me to his home. We discussed my ideas for hours. And I can tell you, nobody is as stubborn as Adam Lehman. Such a god complex. But then why did you agree to work with a guy like that? We were sure. We had a game changer in our hands. We couldn't possibly imagine the scope of it. Let me show you something. An Adler locomotive. The first of its kind. 1835, Adam often compared Eve to early locomotives. This machine has practically led us into the modern age. You often did wonder if its engineers had any idea how much they would change the world. So, did you have any idea how you changed the world? We were sure. His potential had no boundaries. that thing away. Where is Doro? We use her as bait. Take it easy. Put your gun down. She wanted it. She'll be fine. She will be back. 
but it will sure take her a while. Could you please give Finn the antibiotics? For that gun away. We also bought other stuff, by the way. Now we need some rest. Yes, ma'am. I... I'm fine, Noah. Get a room, you two. Suckers are trying to sneak up on us, huh? The next bullet is for the big mouth. No one has to get hurt. Put down your weapons and open your backpacks. Welcome to my realm. Well, I've been living here for a while, but um, it's not like something very fancy, but it's nice. Well, Who are you? And why are you helping us? Well, I'm sorry, but my name is Chloe, and I'm, well, I don't know. I do you no harm. But the fellows out there aren't usually very nice, I guess. But um, why are you helping us? Like, how, how can we know you're any better than those out there? Uh, I don't know. W what else should I do? Welcome to my sweet sanctuary. I know it ain't a palace or anything, but I think the space is cut quite nicely. And Let's I be clear, darling. Five against one. You get me? Uh, you're probably hungry, aren't you? You sure look like you might be hungry. Um, you also seem somewhat tired, I guess. But food always does the trick. I mean, I've been living here for a while now, but um, when it comes to food, I have... Have you got food or not? You don't want to eat this cold, right? Hold this, please. <laughs> we haven't eaten like this in years. 
It's really nice to entertain guests for a change. You're not the talkative types, but then again, um, nobody else ever comes by nowadays. Delicious. <laughs> I'm glad. Is it the guys from before? No. Grey Wolves. Wake the others. Guys, wake up! Wake up! The door! Quick! We're gonna do it! Where's Chloe? Chloe! Chloe? Stop! Go, 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 go! Go! Hurry up! What was wrong with those freaks? Maybe the crazy Herman was right. Nanobots? Do you have a better theory? They were so merciless, like it was nothing. There were so many, we were... Practically helpless. They might as well have killed all of us. They were after him, I'm sure. As if they knew who he was. And that's why we have to turn around. It's over. Turn around? No. Without Finn, we don't even know where to go. We have come this far. Giving up is not an option. Finn's already dead. Every one of us could be next. We don't even know if Lieben is still alive, let alone where. Why the hell should we all put our lives on the line just to be a part of your fucking hero's journey? Who else should do it but us? What? Don't you get it? 
Fen was the only person who knew how to defeat Eve, and it was us who have met him. We all decided together to help him. You too. But now that I really think about it, what have you done the whole way except moping and stopping us? Stupid bitch! Calm, calm, calm down. We have to try to finish what Finn started. If we turn around now, all of it would have been in vain. His death too. Oh, and that would be better than sacrificing all of us? How many have to die for you Guys. to turn around? Maybe we should calm down first, use our brains and just try to work with what we got. Look here. There's more. We need to keep going. If we turn around now, we'd miss our only chance to kill Eve. We just have to figure out his map. I'll take a look at it. Thanks, Noah. Noah, I have to tell you something. I'm sorry, you know. I really didn't mean to turn against you. You don't need to you. apologize. I know that you weren't trying to hurt me. How are you doing? Because of Finn, I mean. You liked him. Yeah. You know, Finn... Finn wasn't a bad guy. like when we are done with all of this oh yes I can what I Guys, wanted to tell you I think we found it let's talk about this later The 
this is supposed to be it. Found something. Subterranean headquarters? <laughs> it won't open. Let us get the others. Can we please turn off that fucking beeping noise now? Not really. I can't take it anymore as if it's making fun of us. Doro, could you tell me again what we've tried already? Birthday of Lehman, founding your Eve, 1234, 9999. Come on, think again, guys. Did Finn say anything to you? He didn't tell us anything, damn it! It is over! He was too busy playing around with his stupid compass and not telling us anything about nothing! What is it? He did mention a code. That's it. Shit. All of this for nothing? Yes, damn it. 
I did tell you so. Our journey was doomed from the very beginning. And you, you are responsible for all of it. Calm down, Joe. She couldn't have known that either. She put our lives in danger for nothing. And you, you trust her more than me. But we had hopes for a better future. You wanted Our us hope as well. was destroyed over and over. We have left our camp for insane reasons. We fear for our lives every single day. Well, I'm not giving up now. What are you gonna do? Lehman's dead. Yes, but we could still try then to. Then go on and chase your fantasies on your own. Sorry, Alex. Monday, March 3rd. Finn will carry half the code of the counter program. I'll take the other part. This way we can only destroy Eve together. Cain and Abel. These two parts have the power to stop Eve if the need should ever arise. Finn will take Cain. I'll keep Abel. Now we feel more secure. should find a place to rest. We should be safer in the forest tonight. Stop! I found something else in the bunker. They belong together. There's a counter program. Well, what are we waiting for then? That is the opportunity. Once we turn on the electricity in the bunker, Eve will notice us. We definitely have to secure the generator. And the bunker. 
Can we do this? Nobody gets past me. Time till they show up. Got the hatch. you're there. I, I'm going to make you an offer. Like, if you let me out, then, then... Why aren't you talking to me? and non-productivity. Dead. Sister, Lisana Weiler. Poor health and loss of productivity resulting from substance abuse.
that, Alex? Your friends are dying out there. Do you not want to save them? Every night I see their faces, and every goddamn day I just think about new ways to destroy you. Severely. But we did finally win! Noah, please! Come on, man. <laughs> Hold on! Noah. You just can't die like that now! Stay with me, please! God, Noah! Noah, we gotta have the baby!
Hey, we want to have a drink together. Are you coming? Yeah, sure. Just a moment. What is it? My sis might still be alive, guys. But what if he fly to you? Yeah, for sure, there was a lie. And what if not? It could be dangerous without the group. I'll go down this way. And now, without Eve, traveling will be much easier. Make sure to catch up with the others. Take good care of you, you three. It sure won't be easy to go back to normal, but it can only get better. <laughs> <laughs> 